today we're on the U.S.-Mexico border near San Ysidro, is that correct? Uh, we're closer to the Otay Mesa. Otay we're Mesa. on the Otay Mesa. San Ysidro, the little city, is about okay. six, seven miles down the road. And we're with Muriel Watson. Mm -hmm. Muriel is, I think, recognized nationally as the person who started the Light Up the Border campaign. Right. Tell us about Light Up the Border. Well, in 1989, when uh, I became aware of, of more and more of the problems for the Border Patrol, uh, this fence, this uh, iron fence or steel fence, was not here. Uh, it was non-existent. It was all open fields so that the people who came uh, saw that uh, it was just an open field. They were unsophisticated folks. They figured it, they could just cross any time they wanted, and which they did do. But, but more, there were thousands of people crossing yes, the border. Yes, yes, Every uh, Every night. About, every night. Uh, we apprehended about 2,000 a night, and they figured at least uh, for everyone they caught, two got away. Nope. And so? And so I determined that, first of all, we needed lights along the border. and To uh, do what? To, to light up the area so that the smugglers didn't have the darkness to work under. To expose them. Right, right. And... Um, uh, we had monthly demonstrations. We started off with 23 cars. And you actually lined cars up? We lined cars up. I got permission from the San Diego P. So we um, met on November 4th, 1989, was the first meeting with 23 cars. And it was just dramatic, the lights that uh, those 23 cars put across open fields. Now, we just went in December, and uh, we had maybe uh, about uh, 75 cars. And so it was by word of mouth, and January we started off with 200 cars, and it just went uh, for approximately a year. In the meantime, the local congressman heard about what we were doing, sent his aides down to watch what we were doing, and realized that, uh, that we probably had a good idea. Who was that? That was Duncan Hunter. Mr. Hunter made arrangements with the Department of Defense and President Bush at the time. In 1990, with the cooperation of the National Guard and the Border Patrol, we started the fence, this old steel fence. It's not very pretty, but it was very effective. Uh, shortly after that, um, uh, we kept... How many cars you had at one time? We, How many? We probably had close to 1,500 cars at one time so on Dairy So it was really citizens' individual actions... Absolutely. ...that drew the politicians into the issue? that actually started the fence project. That's correct. So today we're looking, and we're going to be taking some other shots uh, of this, we're looking at a fence which is a double fence now. Yes. Um, in the meantime, Duncan Hunt, uh, and it's working very well. Uh, so all of this started with your initiative, Light Up the Border, American citizens coming together to say, to, to, to shed light uh, literally shed light literally on, yeah I shed had light on a problem that needed some attention yes and uh, and it worked it worked it took a long time right. it took over a year of demonstrations and uh, uh, that's out of their control so we'll have to come up with something like light up the border uh, mm -hmm. like count at the border or snapshot at the border or photograph that's a good the idea snapshot yeah, at have the border the citizens have pictures uh, and just take pictures of the traffic going through what so the we could put that on the internet so everybody could see. Absolutely, and the rest of the country. You know, folks in Iowa and, and uh, North Dakota and all those areas have absolutely no idea the problems that we have down here. And that and would do it, wouldn't it? That should do it, and, and by the same token, we need a national concern on this. This right. is a national problem.